What is up guys, Apathy back in the building today with another video, and this is a video I should have done a long time ago, MLG SD class edit video, but I'm finally doing it now, and I'm going to be going over my SD classes, going to go try and go in depth as possible and talk about a couple things other than just showing you my classes because, I mean, anyone can do that. So let's go and let's get this started. So to start off, Mountain is very necessary, right? You can easily hear footsteps in this game. It's in talks that they're trying to fix it, maybe lower it a bit. But at this moment, it's really easy to hear footsteps. It's easy to get sound horde, and that's a big issue. So Mound is usually used in SD, not all the time, but most of the time. And another uh, substitute you can use is Inconspicuous, which helps. Uh, you can still hear it, but it's very, very low. And if you crouch, I believe it completely uh, silences it. So Inconspicuous is another good way of not being heard. But it really depends on your position, right? If you're going to a place where it's heavily needed off the break, you want to run Armored usually, or maybe even Hunker, but Armored is a better one for an AR. Now, obviously, you won't have Mountain anymore, so it just it really depends what you're sacrificing and the positions you're being put in. And then that's depending on what you're going to do. But let's go go through our classes real quick, and let me show you guys some, some. So my first class is the PPSH with Mountain and Prime. The Prime is almost necessary at this moment. I mentioned that in my respawn class setup video. Uh, in talks, there's talks of being that nerfed a bit too, so you won't really have to worry about the flinch as much, and maybe you won't have to run it as much. So, but at this moment, Prime is almost, it's almost necessary. I think in the near future, if they, if they, you know, fix the footsteps and they make the flinch in-game, like, way, way better, then we can see more, you know, diversity with all these basic trainings and all these divisions. So, that would, that would be really cool. But I got Quick Draw Grip and Advanced Rifling. It's all you really need on the sub, especially when you're running Prime. I got Mountain, Prime, obviously, Machine Pistol, Extended Mags. I think Extended Mags is the best. People like to use Advanced Rifling or Steady Aim. Uh, I think these are the other two used the most. I just prefer Extended Mags a lot more bullets, you know, in case you're choking, missing some bullet shots. And then I got the, the M2, MK2 Fragmentation with, the, you know, it's basically a grenade. It's a frag grenade. And frag grenades are really good in this game. It actually has a bigger radius. It tells you right here, 6 meter blast radius, and the, the sticky has a 5. And you can just obviously lob it across the mat, you know, nade spot, you know, pre-nade something. So for usually in SD, frags are the, you know, the better choice. Not all the time, but usually they are. Then for my next PPSH class, I have an Airborne with Hunker. Now, obviously, with the flinch being a little bit of an issue right now, you know, if I get shot and I try to shoot back, sometimes the flinch is going to hit me hard and it's going to make me miss some bullets. And it's, it's a little difficult, but this is a good rush class, especially if you're rushing somewhere that you have a chance of getting naded. You do not want to get first blooded, right? That's something you do not want to happen. So this is a good substitute class for rushing. Uh, just obviously no prime. Then, of course, a stun grenade. The only way to block the stun grenade is if you have armored. And not everyone runs armored SD. So stun grenades are pretty effective SD. You go give that a try. And, of course, I just run quick draw grip. It's really the only, the only two attachments you need on a sub. And then for my next uh, airborne class, it's airborne inconspicuous. Basically the same thing, but I have a frag instead of a stun. And on top of that, I have inconspicuous, which basically, like I said, it's more silent. You know, it's harder for people to hear you if you're rushing something that, you know, there's not, it's a very small chance of, like, the area you're going of getting naded and you want a f quick flank or something like that. This is a good class to use because airborne, you're super fast, man. You just zoom in across the map. You're getting to places quick and you have inconspicuous, which helps you, you know, not get sound hoarded and allow you to, to make that flank a lot quicker and it allows you to do that easy. So this is a good uh, substitute class. You know, it depends, like I said earlier. The positions you're going if you're going somewhere you're rushing somewhere that can be highly nated you want to run hunker you don't want to risk that chance of getting first blooded that easily but if you're not you know you can try inconspicuous maybe get a little sneaky get in their face now for my next class it's the bar the bar got a slight nerf recently it's still a really good ar the bar and the fg are still the best two ars the fg has a more longer range uh it's more effective longer range and the bar just a little bit better closer range the fire rate was slightly reduced and the hit fire spread was widened so it, it it did nerf it that close range you know bar dominance it was nerfed and the subs are able to compete a little bit more now so this is still a really good gun though so i have a mountain primed extended mags of course oh wait this is a there we go Let, let's fix that extended mags machine pistol and a frag so now another thing, you know, in this game, in SD, people get pre-nated a lot. Like right now, there's a lot of nade spots. You know, when you're rushing something, you're getting naded. So having this class is a risk. You know, usually you don't if if you are running this class, you don't want to rush, let's say, a bomb site that's probably gonna get pre-nated. You know, you gotta take your time with these classes. Like, you gotta you guys gotta understand if you do not have armored or hunker, you gotta know where you're push, putting yourself in. It's gonna take some time to understand what's getting prenated, what's not getting prenated, the positions you can push without getting naded. It's gonna take a little bit of time playing SD a bit, but once you get the hang of it, you're gonna realize, okay, I can't go here, or I gotta wait a second for his nade to blow up in case they prenade it. Because if you have Mountain and Prime, this is a really good dominant class for search. Obviously, you can't be heard. Mountain, silent movement, complete dead silent, and Prime really good to just win gunfights and you get that extra attachment. 
So this is a really good class for those for those situations. But the biggest, biggest thing is one, you should not be carrying bomb unless you, some of your teammate dies and you have to plant it. Then, okay, well, you have no choice. But you should not be carrying bomb with this class because you have a high chance of getting nated. And of course, it's not getting pre-nated. But this is a really other dominant class. All I'm running is grip, advanced rifling, and red dot. And I use the spec, which is a little, little, little dot, basically a red dot. Some people like the duple. Um, some pros use this. Some pros use Most pros use spec. Uh, I actually don't mind this one that much, but I just prefer the spec because you get pop people like off head glitches. You really don't want running quick, uh, quick draw at all on the AR unless you have four attachments. If for for maybe respawn but search, let's say you want to run infantry some, for some reason, uh, you can always pop quick draw. And I would say grip, reflex, quick draw. If you're playing like Gibraltar where FMJ is really needed, uh, you can run FMJ. So basically, you can run this. Um, well, in SD, I don't really think quick draw is necessary that like at all. You you can just run really run this class. But a good tip to give you guys in S and D until it's fixed at the moment. Um, a really good thing to use is FMJ. So many things in walls and almost everything on Gibraltar can be wall banked. Unfortunately, it's just the way the game is. FMJ is really OP on that map. A really good tip I could give you guys is run this class: grip, full metal jacket, red dot. You can easily wall bank people through the, through. The, you can you know just wall bank people through the bricks through the walls. Uh, pretty easily. It's not that hard to do. And, you know, you don't even really need a mountain. Like like I said, it depends on the map, the situation where you're going. If you're playing Gibraltar, if you're going, like, the middle of the map, all it is is really it's a gunfight fest, right? People are going up top spiral, top bricks. They're getting into the headies. They're, like, fighting each other. There's no really necessary to run mountain on that map for the most part. Maybe you have one teammate run it, but it's not really necessary. Usually what you want to run is either armored. Maybe you can get away with infantry or if you're rushing something with airborne. But on a map like Gibraltar, you know, you don't really want to run mountain. Another map, for example, is Arden, Arden's Forest. You don't really have to run mountain. Uh, depends the situation you're playing and what you're playing. But for the most part, like three of those players, two of those players can easily get away without running mountain. All it is is pushing up in the heady, holding a position, and then just working as a team from there. So don't always think you have to run mountain. There's certain maps like Saint Marie and, you know, other maps that you do, maybe US Texas, that you kind of do have to run mountain in some areas. But like I said, you just got to play S&D more. Understand where you can get needed understand oh i can run mountain here I, oh i can get sound i will get sound hurt here or i can't get sound hurt here or i'll get pre needed here like you gotta you gotta just adapt and you know use your classes your divisions and your, your basic trainings wisely now for my next class we have the stripe happy which is the fg42 a very 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 dominant gun that's being used even more nowadays it's just a very powerful long range just pop 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 pops you off headies and just easily uh, just shreds you basically uh, the way i like to resemble it bar and iw k bar hey i never thought about that but the k bar uh fg is basically the mv4 uh this pops you picks you from really long range easily k bar just dominant close range even though the fg is still pretty good uh close range as well just because how quick it kills uh, i have armored on this class i don't think if you're ever in a position with fg if you have armored it's so hard to kill you it's so hard to pop you off the heady it's so hard like if you're posted up in a heady it's so hard to nade you out and usually if you're posted up with fg there's no reason for you to run mountain right you're not going to be running around the map and S and D. So armored is really good. Armored and prime is basically all you need. Uh, you can try obviously infantry, just really good on ARs. But in S and D, you just don't want to get naded and just a frag. And then for my next class is the sniper, my final class. Um, this is the best sniper class you can possibly have in a way. Like you can get kind of creative with it, you know, creative with it uh, until they nerf some stuff. Maybe you can even get more creative with it. But at the moment, this is probably the best sniper class you can have. Mountain, of course. I think it helps with uh, Sniper Sharpshooter, it helps you um, like hold your breath longer or something like that. So it's good to have, I guess. The Car 98K, best sniper in my opinion. He's, it hits a lot of one shot. And then Ballistic, we got Extended Mags and we got FMJ. Pretty much all you need. The The regular scope is pretty damn good. Uh, you can easily wall bang, you get more ammo, of course. These are best three attachments. Primed, you know, kind of necessary. When people are shooting you, you know, the flinch is a little bit bad right now. So your, your, your sniper is just going to keep jumping. Oh, oh, oh. But if you have Prime, they're shooting you. You can easily quick scope, or you can easily, you know, like, as soon as you see them around the corner, like, get ready to shoot them, and your, your shot's not going to miss. You have a high chance of hitting that shot. So Prime is just really effective right now with Mountain. Of course, Machine Pistol, Extended Mags, basically a, a mini submachine gun in your pocket. Really effective with the Sniper. And a Frag Grenade, you can also run a Stun Grenade if you want. I think a Frag or a Stun, you should be running on the Sniper, you know. You're, you're, it's not like you're going to get close up and toss a Semtex, right? You're going to be blade back usually. You're going to be posted up. You know, it's trying to peek, pop someone, peek someone. You know, you can push up a bit, 
cook that frag grenade throw it so guys these are basically my six snd classes i use obviously you could get a little bit more creative with it you just you know you don't have to use the exact classes obviously these are like one of the best classes you can use but obviously you can change them up a bit like i mentioned you know you don't have to run on certain maps you don't have to run mountain you could put armored on this class you know i didn't want to just fill up you can do a, there's a lot of possibilities i just didn't want to fill up the whole screen and, and take so long to do this video so you can always change it up you want to rush something in snd maybe you want to use a bar run airborne prime maybe you want to run airborne hunker where the hell is hunker there it is uh grip maybe for this if you do this you have to you can use grip and quick draw maybe or just grip and red dot the, th the thing is, when I will tell you this, when you're rushing something with an AR and you don't have primed or infantry, low key quick draw can be a little bit effective just in case, like you're, you know, you just maybe get that little advantage sometimes. It's not really going to help, but you never know. So you can run airborne hunker, you know, you could change it up, you know, based off what you're doing and what you're doing on the map and adapting. So these are just a whole bunch of classes I showed you, but there's a lot of possibilities with the class that you can change. You know, you can change certain things, do little things, put on a smoke. You know, there's a lot of things depending on what you're doing and what strat you're trying to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got a pretty good idea of what are the best classes and my best classes that I have and that I use. Hope you all have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I got to keep uploading. And, you know, I've just been, it's not that I've been lazy, guys. I've just been grinding. You know, a lot of big things and important things are, are, are happening and i just got to keep getting better and i we have to make it to you know pool play at the next event and then we got to make the league so that's just a really important things but i'm going to try to continuously uh you know upload and continue to grind have a good day